Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. In today's video, I'll be presenting some tests I've been doing in order to try and find out which graphic option gives the best results from VR on my PC using SimUpdate 10 Beta. For the testing, I flew over Tokyo using a Cessna 172. I'm using the HP Reverb G2 since I figure this is the most popular headset. I've disabled the OpenXR toolkit and I'm running the sim at 100 render in both the OpenXR developer tool and Microsoft Flight Simulator itself. The aim of this video is to showcase the differences between the various anti-aliasing settings using both DX11 and DX12 in VR, and to determine which combination gives the best VR experience on my system so that you can try some of these on your own and make the best choice for your own PC. Here you can see on the left I've got the anti-aliasing set to TAA using DX11 at 100% render, in-game and with the OpenXR Developer Toolkit. On the right hand side you can see the VR and DLSS using performance mode with DX11. The first thing I can say is look at the difference in the frame rate there. On the left you've got around 30 frames per second, on the right you've got up to around 54, 55 frames per second. It's a huge jump and it feels much smoother obviously with the DLSS. I would also say that I don't see much difference in clarity so I'm definitely going to stick to DLSS from now on. Definitely a no-brainer there. But there you go, that's the first test. Next we've got the TAA with 100% render using DX12 on the left. And on the right you've got DLSS using performance mode again with DX12 on the right. Here you can see the frame rates are slightly lower but not much in it. But I must say it's not as smooth as DX11. So therefore I won't be using DX12 but again in time, with more development, this should be the way to go. And the last test I've done is showing you what it looks like using DLSS with the quality mode rather than performance. So this is obviously more clarity. On the left you've got DX11, on the right you've got DX12. Again with DX11 the FPS is still good, it's looking at mid 40s, whereas on the right with DX12 it's slightly lower just a couple of frames. But again, I would say it's quite a lot smoother using DX11 over DX12 at this point. So I tried to do these tests as fairly as possible and it's helped me realize which settings I am gonna be using. I was using the quality setting before, but the more I use it now, I think I'm gonna switch that to the performance. So I'll be using the DLSS uh, performance with DX11 for now. And here are the menus, just in case you're wondering where they are. In the VR menu, you can see the anti-aliasing I've selected is NVIDIA DLSS. And I've chosen the performance. And here you can see I've chosen the quality. So these are the two DLSS settings that I was using in the testing. You do have a few more options with ultra performance and balance, but I thought these two tests would be enough to show the kind of performance I'm getting and the best performance I'm getting. Here you can see the rest of my settings. They're the same settings as my setup video, but I'll just show them here again so you can easily access them. I use the same in-game settings for all the testing. It's just the anti-aliasing options that I was changing. Overall, I think it's safe to say that my preferred settings for my system are to use the DLSS option with performance using DX11. This clearly gives it the headroom it needs to perform smoothly as well as project good graphics. However, I do find if I use DLSS with quality mode using DX11, it can be slightly clearer, but with an obvious hit on FPS and frame times. So I just prefer the balance of the performance rather than the quality. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts and what settings you're using to get the most out of VR with this new beta build. I know some of you are still reporting better performance using TAA. Have you tried the settings I've shown here? And if yes, which do you prefer? And do check out some of my other videos which focus on how VR has improved since Sim Update 10 Beta was released. It's great to see these major developments for VR and I think a lot of Sims will benefit. I also think these improvements do help to attract new VR users to the Sim, since it's such a stunning showcase when it's running properly, which people will want to experience for themselves. As always, please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.